Hello everyone, this is Olivier de Rivière. Let's continue this composer walkthrough of a plectia requiem. Uh, we are chapter six. And uh, previously we find out that Amicia and Hugo are now uh, alone, but together. And this is uh, something that we discussed a lot in a sense that for the first time since the beginning of the game, Hugo got sick. Uh, you lose control of Hugo. He's with uh, Vaudin and his mom. And so it's only five chapters later that Amicia can finally be alone with him without her mom and Lucas. So it felt completely natural to go back with um, the theme of Hugo and Amicia, the very one, the Darun theme. Yes, we should fix that before it gets infected, I guess. There's water up there. Yes. So Hugo is going to take care of his sister, which is um, something new. And uh, of course, what you're going to have here is the... Um, he's building up his dream, in his dream, the island. So he's making the island again. And so when you see the island, we have the call of the Macula, the voices. Is it your island? Yes. These look like teeth. It's a two-teeth island. You know, I think I saw it on a painting in Vaudan's laboratory. So it's really real. So if you've noticed on Vaudan's laboratory, laboratory, well, Be on Vaudan's place, at was yes. <laughs> there is this painting, and on the painting we have the cello doing these sort of um, natural harmonics that Already. the choir is now doing. Nice. Because basically the choir is mimicking the cello. You're good at this. I tried not to hurt you. And so that's what I said at the beginning. Now come on, sir. We're gonna you have need to find your island. Yes. Finally, the fitting of the first game when Hugo and Amicia are together <sighs> with the Darun theme. By boat. Once we know where it is. Do you think Mummy will be angry? She won't be pleased. So for people who played worry. Innocence. This scene is very similar to the ending of Innocence, but of course they expanded on this. Here we go. Wow! Look at those flowers. Yes. Come on, you like flowers. So here, if you just you know, just as a curiosity, if you just want to roam and you know look at the visuals, uh, the music, as you can see, is playing. So what if the players go there? What if you, know, you need to think about all of that when you're implementing music? Um, it feels very natural. You don't need to feel about this or to think about it when you're a gamer. But when you're a developer, you're like, OK, so what if the, the gamers are just here and waiting and waiting? So you see the music is just switching to some background loop that will completely but blend. What if the boat sinks? Hugo, do they know how to swim? They'll be fine. Promise? So that's yes. exactly like the ending of Innocence Wait. now. You see that tree? I'm sure I can reach it faster than you. Now? Why? Because you're a little chicken. I'm not. You are. <laughs> Show me then. Three, two, one. Hey! <laughs> you're going to be a chicken! <laughs> oh, no. So this is the theme. Oh, did you hurt yourself? No. And this is the first time you hear it in this matter. That's in this, a beautiful feather. I mean, in Requiem. So soft. So blue. It must have fallen from that nest up in the tree, see? Oh, yes. We'll look for other nests. I'm sure we'll So after that, yes. um, the there's meantime, a little... I'll make you a say, bird. Um, a nice bird. Underscore of oh, this with the cello and the guitars. So guitars going away, and then just this little guitar. I think I prefer feathers now. Which is father. Oh. Fine. That was a good race. 
it was. On it's Innocence soundtrack, me. Father. No. What hurts the most and is brother that I'm a at the end of now. this game. Better For those who chicken. beat the game, they know <laughs> what I'm talking kind. about. Next time, I'm letting you in. Oh, no. So, uh, the music Next will stop. You. you will hear now um, some in-source yeah. music. The funny part is like, um, we were like a bunch of people like here and um, I, we gathered in the, my little room and we sang all together. Uh, so it's, it's always fun to do this in a game because you unite with some friends and you do this and it, it ends up in the game. We're trying to find our way. Why are people singing? Yes, their For some people strong. that were um, a little Hello. bit exploring Hello. the surroundings, we have this little scene here with the swing. And uh, the thing is, the <laughs> guitar the player, oh. uh, Gaedic, when he came broken. to record, uh, we did go. Brother together. And uh, I said to him, OK, myself. just no, do you. something like whatever you want. Uh, onto the the chords of brother, please. And he did this, um, you know, out of the blue. It's like an improvisation. And uh, I was very happy. And I put it here. And it's only when I've played the game that I realized that this was very close to um, the last of us. And I was like, okay, what should I do? Should I let it there or should I just, you know, remove it because Should we go back? Let's say it's the last of us, you know. And I found sort of um Thank you. I don't know. It was soothing. Sort of good to have this in the end. Because we know that this game has been very much influenced by um, the work from Naughty Dog. And also Gaidi didn't know the last of us at all. He didn't do this out of any reference. So in the end, I said, "Okay, let's keep it. Let's move on next to the, the next bit of music." Well, there will be thousands. Hello. We're now at this cutscene, and oh, hello. What you will hear very soon yes. is well, when actually, um, we're a bit lost. And where are the you guards Not are after. Well, you know, they're after uh, Amicia no, and Hugo. And, it has teeth, and there's a bird and a the music bird. you're gonna hear, they're gonna be like some low bass cellos, but then the high cello goes like. This is father slash brother music. Yes, thank you. That'll be so perfect. once again, Good people. there's the bass. What's going on? We're looking for a boy and a girl. The girl has killed several soldiers. She's armed and dangerous. By order of Count Victor of Earl. And you'll have the cellos. I know a guilty look when I see one. But whatever you've done, I won't give up a child. Come with me. We need to get you out of the camp. Follow me closely. Try to blend in. What's going on? Make way. Clear your tents. They're looking for someone. Cooperate, and no harm will be done. Please, don't hurt us. We haven't done anything. We could Any new pilgrims? Careful. Careful. So what played previously with the guitar is now on the cello very fast and a little bit uh, tense. No, I hope you'll make amends. I'm trying. We're all judged, eventually. No problem. Hide under that car before this. Now, I'm gonna hide below this carriage. The music will switch, and the high cello will do the same line. That's father, brother. Good idea. Do we go now, Amicia? Not yet. Wait, pay signal. Hey, you! Me? How long have you been with this procession? The way's clear. Come, calmly. Let's go. So now we're leaving. Once again, it's segments after segments. You know, we're following the bits of the story. Be careful. Many music are just played just once. It's like film scoring, actually. It's like a movie now. 
Let's get as far away as possible. So you're running away. Then there will be this attack. Switch of the music. Quick. So you need to run, and then it's gonna be the theme, the second part of the theme of a Blake Tale. Just hurt. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm dizzy. Your hand. You're bleeding again. Oh, Lord. Oh. So this is to prepare what's going to happen next. You know, because as we go through the level, she's losing more and more stamina and leave. almost hope. Yes. Father. Where are we? With the, like you know, base the. Since we're going in there, it's dark. Much darker. No, if there's another Dizzy. way. And Where are they? Inside. now Don't is something hand. that Did you really kill soldiers? I was very happy yes. with Aurelien, the, I lost the audio director. You didn't tell me. It's the I'm call of the rats. No, stay focused. So, just a little, little detail. For those who are, who know. It's uh, Hugo and the rats are the same. It's the macula, okay? The macula is going through the boy and he can control the macula or get controlled by the macula. And the rats are just a sort of a, um, an external um, manifestation of this. And so the rats and Hugo start to have communication. And it's true for the gameplay because thanks to the rats, you're going to be able to see through walls for enemies, but in the music as well, you will hear that the rats are calling. And I'm using this natural uh, harmonics that I told you that was on the island with the choir that is all over the place, like at the very beginning here or on the Vaudin's picture, you know, like the paintings. Uh, here, you, you will hear that. So listen carefully to the call of the rats. You know, I, I feel them. I think it's the rats. I can try to feel better. You're sure about this? Remember yes. the island? Don't worry. Fine. Yes, careful. You hear a little bit of like squeezing, squeaking, squeaking things, but also the. You know, so now the rats are sort of calling, which is the macula once again. So let's go. And if I press the button long enough, I, see them. I have this thing Soldiers. that Hold goes. How? You don't hear it much, they can feel me but if rats. you keep it, now I can do. it's going to grow. It's like a noise, like an echo. So where are they? Or maybe Close. here it won't grow Close. because as a security for you not to overload, you know, your learning, it might not do it. They can't go back. But you heard it, like at least you heard the take it, take it, take it. Listen. You bloody superstitions. It's the captain you should be afraid of. The That's the rats. Okay. So now I need to play. So once again, the system, percussions, everything is um, as the usual, but with this in the middle. very natural uh, and uh, I'm gonna move on to the next bit man to go through the gameplay once again after you know a few months without oh. so let's go back I mean says weak so much I'm not sure I'll make it um, so the melody of Plague Tale 2 um, that played yes. when she fall down, oh, fell down, fell down, get out back, man. but lower. Now what's gonna happen is, you know, it's you go once again from cutscene to gameplay to cutscene to gameplay, very smooth. 
no, don't die. So what's interesting is the um, the rats. Remember, so the rats, the uh, natural harmonics and sort of like um, uh, arpeggios. You're hearing now the Makula, the rats are coming because Hugo is panicking and the rats are coming to help him. And he doesn't know what's going on, but basically because the threats of the guards coming in is um, very urgent, then he's getting control over the rats. Do you hear the call? That's the call. And then... You hear, you know, the harmonics. But also you hear something that is very smooth and very nice. As if you were, you know, in the water or, you know, somewhere good. And the contrast between the horror of you eating people and the, the nice feeling of controlling the rats. Listen. It's a very nice feeling. It's terrifying. So now you're losing control. Back to Amicia. Music back to Amicia. Oh, you're back. Are you alright? Oh no, not yet. Again, more guards. Sorry, I forgot about this. Uh, so, you hear the call? Call? So the rats are calling, the rats are calling. So what am I gonna do? Soldiers. Well, no. I'm gonna. I can't. Rest. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be a rat. And it feels great. Yeah, you see, like there are all the systems all together. You have the rats calling. You have the music of Amicia, and there we go. And. But now the music is a little different. Wait, what's going on? It's darker. Because Hugo is suffering. And there you go. It's done. What was that? Did Back you Amicia. Yes. Can you stand up? I need to. <clears throat> oh, easy. <sighs> Come on. Let's leave. Did you really control them? Yes. They let me... Uh, and I now I'm going to go down. And uh, you will Let's hear how the... Um, how the... All of the rats still work. How do you feel? I still hear in my head. It's raining. You, you control in my head. Like before? Listen what he's saying. Not like before. This time I was inside their head. Careful. They must not take control of you. The macula wants to take you over, feed on your emotions. You have to be very careful. I will. So the rats are calling. Oh boy. So, let's move on to the next bit. Now out of the threat, yes. and It'll the base is gone. 
But you still have the rats. It's very subtle. Oh, fabric. All new. This little uh, optional scene uh, was perfect for us to reinstate the relationship between this. Amicia and Hugo. Exactly. It's right. very simple. It will make you feel better. I hope. Which one? I don't. That one. <laughs> so that's the brother helping the sister, you know, which is uh, new. <laughs> Sorry. And it's for over. those who beat the game, they know how impactful it I is and why the music here is playing. So, um, moving on. It's going to be the big arena. Uh, in What's interesting in the arena is that the call of the rats... Listen. So, I guess nobody, you know, noticed this. I don't even know if the team at Asobo noticed this. But... If you're close to rats, like they are right there, you hear it, you hear their call. If I go away, it will gone, it will be gone. Soldiers, rats, careful. Well, it means that rats are around. Where are they? Right there. There are rats hiding inside the basement. Okay, so I'm gonna use them. Alright guys, I'm gonna switch, you know, I'm gonna skip this and uh, talk about the the next bit. Go on. Use it. Yes, I'll open the safe way. However, no, I want to talk about one thing. Is the feeling of good when you're manipulating the rats, the more you do it. The less good you feel. Listen to the music. Keep your focus. And I want you to notice that it's only cellos. Because on the island is the cellos with the choir. Okay, I need to let it go. It's done. I showed them. Yes. But be careful. And the rats are not calling just, anymore just, because they're not around. Don't make the same so um, let's move on. That's <laughs> okay, so now we have the the boss. We made it. And this is difficult without the sheet codes. And it's just a uh, music. What? So no. it's like a scary music. This is Nothing super. Don't care. Eric doing uh, its magic. And by the way, uh, most music you're hearing is uh, Eric and uh, and me. Yes, I see it. On the percussions. So back to I mean the the wolf, the wolf I think. Right. The beast? I don't remember. The beast is I'm dead. Fine. I'm fine. And once again, Amicia, the melody that when she was hurt. Right. You know, a little breath in the music. And there you go. Amicia? Amicia! No. So that's the same music that when she I fell down. The calling of the rats. I can't. You have to handle it yourself. It's growing. Do it. Quick. And now the music is very disturbing. Keep disturbing. Control. You go. After this uh, killing frenzy. Um, when Hugo is overcharged, uh, for the first time you will hear um, the choir going with those chords like oh, like this. And for those who play the game, these chords happen when 
you discover the reality of the previous carrier. So basically, it means that not only you know, it's linked to the carrier, but to the fate of the carrier. These chords. Uh, wait, these ones. What's wrong? What's wrong? That's amazing. No. So this is Tomb. No. The music. The carrier. And back to the craziness. We have to get out of here. The 3D director at this moment, we didn't know, you know, if we had to keep the voices going on or to go back to the, the rats. But I think that to go back to the action is more um, like we're, we're saving the drama of the, the voices for later. So I think it's, it's the right decision. And finally. Amicia is hurt, so once again the same melody. A mix of, uh oh, something happened, we don't know what. That's it for this level. Thank you for following uh, if you're still watching. And um, I'll see you maybe, hopefully, on the next episode. Have a good one.